Yo, bro, I just got back from fishing. I seen the biggest iguana ever. I think it might have been pregnant. Pregnant? <laughs> Dude, iguanas ain't got no eggs on them right now. It's one second. Dude, you're right, it does look pregnant. Look at that. Yo, where did you see this iguana at? It was on Griffin and University. Yep, mango trees, nope, it's not it. As soon as we came to the spot, we seen the amount of iguanas out here. I did my best to catch the first one I can. The other ones jumped in the water. Yo. Oh, dude. You're right. Oh my gosh, bro. This is a female iguana, and you're right, dude. It looks like there's eggs in there. See, I know about them. Oh my god, dude. You are not kidding. Claws are like razor blades. Let's go ahead. Oh, we got our first iguana from the spot. And she is definitely a feisty little female. Wonder why she's feisty. You said that you think she might have eggs in her? She have eggs. It's full of eggs. DJ, man. DJ, what do you what do you think is that on her mouth right there, dude? She got beat up. Do you think that's beat up or well look at that, dude? Egg yolk. The iguana's body, look at it. It's yellow. It's kinda it's by her mouth. Look, she even has some right over there, right on her eye. Dude, I don't know what it is, bro. It could be that she got beat up or Dude, it could go on me. Look, where? Straight ahead, laying down. Oh, there's a sleeping iguana. Look what that iguana is doing right there, guys. He's going down real low, pretending he's a log. That is another form of camouflage. All right, so right now, he's still pretending like he's a rock. When you get the iguanas, let them fight it out. Be completely unpredictable. We got him. Dude, she's got eggs. Look at that. Holy smokes. Dude, hey, look, she have the same beat up just like the other iguana had. Smell this iguana and see what it smells like. Ripe Florida mangoes. Oh, there's one right there. Oh! There's probably a lot of iguanas right over here. We just can't see them. Oh, guys. Look at this right here. Look at that right there. Look at that giant iguana just taking off. Oh, my gosh, bro. I think... Oh, yeah. You guys heard that? What is that? Bro, that hole is massive. That's one of them. Iguanas seem like they're getting smarter and smarter. Not only did they make a burrow to get through the fence, but they made a nest completely on the border of the canal and the pool. Iguanas are thinking like way ahead of us right now, guys. They have a body of water right there, body of water right here, hey, look, guys, mango tree. Iguana crawling up a tree. Oh my God, bro. This to establish territory over here by catching the alpha. If we don't catch the alpha, straight ahead, iguana in gate. Where? Iguana in gate? Yep. Hold on, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Iguana right there. Iguana right there. You got to also catch iguana by hand. Look, look iguana right there. There's one right there. The third iguana you can barely see. All you see is his head poking out. You got to have a really good eye if you go iguana hunting. The land fish, y'all. Hey, guys. Oh, he's pulling drag. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Look at this right here, guys. And right across, the guys, they buried it. Look, there's a baby iguana right there on the dock over there. Bro, they are breeding out of control over here, guys. We have an iguana on the line right now, guys. Look how he's fighting this pole. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, let him get tired out real quick. And uh, this female? Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude, you're right, bro. Whew, look at this guy. And again, guys, mango's on the face. He's got a blade of grass on the edge of his mouth. These iguanas out here, they know exactly what they're doing, guys. They're sunbathing, they're breeding, they're eating mangoes like crazy. Bro, look how diabolically sharp that is right And they there. get sharpened off the tree, guys. Look at that right there, dude. Territory over here. The only way we can do that is if we catch the alpha. <laughs> that right there is what I'm talking about, y'all. Now that we got our iguanas in hand, it's time to go to a friend's house where she's going to prepare us lunch. And don't worry, guys. She is a master chef. Warning. Viewer discretion is advised. The following content will show us harvesting and cooking iguana eggs and is for a mature audience only. With that being said, I hope you enjoy. After cleaning all the iguanas, only one had eggs. It was the first one we caught. You wouldn't expect a small iguana like this to have so many eggs, but surprisingly, they can have up to 60. This iguana, I counted off camera, and she had 40 eggs total. Broadleaf time, we call this pudina. 
and some curry leaves. Fresh oregano, yeah. basically, right here. Yeah, but not the Italian one. It smells really close really to it. Really pungent. Yeah. It's all fresh seasoning that you're gonna, I guess, grind up and yes. season this iguana with? Yes. And that's our iguana right there, right? Yeah, this is the iguana and these are the eggs. Oh. The eggs are stuck to the meat. Wow. Oh, cool. Man. We have our freshly caught and chopped iguana meat accompanied with some fresh iguana eggs. Look at that. And then the curry leaves. And you can already smell that like it smells very fragrant. Fudge bonnet pepper. Here we have a cherry pepper or a weary weary pepper. And here I have two pimento peppers. So these are seasoning peppers and they just add flavor. <laughs> washes their meat differently so I'm using lime and flour so I'm just gonna go in with the lime juice just wanna squeeze it to get all of that juice out and I'll add some flour and this basically will just take away any fresh scent or gaminess and let it soak for like a few minutes okay. not too long because there's lime in there I like adding tomatoes when I cook curry just gonna take it out of the water and then I'll go back individually and clean it are we cooking it in the curry? We can put that last when the curry is finished. Residual heat can cook it. One, two, three, four. Yep, we have five eggs. Seasoning that has everything in it. And it adds so much more flavor. Black pepper. Complete seasoning. Just a little. Onion. And I'm saving some for when we go to chunk in a pot. Now when you're currying, you always put a little extra garlic. So we have that. Now for the main ingredient, which is the green seasoning. You marinate for about an hour. Just a little bit of oil. We're just going to saute some onions, scallions and a little piece of hot pepper. Get brown, caramelize before we add any curry powder. I'm using a spicy curry also, just for some dimension and flavor. And then we're going to go in with some amchar masala. Plus saffron, a lot of people know it as turmeric, not to be confused with saffron shreds. This is roasted cumin, or jeera as we call it. And it's gonna add more flavor also. You just want it to get a nice brown color and add the spice now. And when you mix your spices like this, you add so much more flavor to your foods. Post this on low. When you're toasting curry or spices, you need your flame to be on a low, or else you will burn it and it's gonna taste bitter. So we're gonna cook this for about a minute. After it's finished, we're gonna go in with some water. And we're going to allow this to cook until it turns into a thick paste. Allow this to cook it up. Maybe all of the liquid you see in here is going to dry up. Bro! You could smell what's going on in this pot right now. It's going to add in some coconut milk now. Just going to mix that in. And I'm going in with the eggs now, and they're basically gonna be poached in there. Look at that! That is beautiful. 
beautifully plated. Thank you so much. Uh, out mm -hmm. there in uh, South America, Central America, they call it the tree chicken. All right, so this is the moment of truth right here. This is absolutely amazing right here. It's like a mix of chicken, shrimp, really, really awesome. We have the iguana, we have the salad, that egg. I hope a baby iguana doesn't jump out. Oh yeah, don't say that. Too. Oh my gosh. It looks like an like a egg yolk. Look at that. Do you like eggs? Yeah. Actually gonna eat this curry oh iguana God. egg. <laughs> I've never had an egg. One. Two. Three. Hey, it's not that bad. Yeah, it tastes it tastes just like an egg yolk. It does, right? Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Oh really my good. gosh, let me hold on. Let me get a, it's like an egg mixed yeah. with like heavy cream or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it, it was creamy. It tastes super, super rich, dude. That is amazing. Hold on, let me get a piece of this egg, and let me get a piece of this iguana meat, guys. Look at this iguana meat right here. It's just falling off the bone, bro. That's insane. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just get right up in there man we'll put a little salad too right here just on top. look at that guys for a beautiful bite right there thanks to 20 cooking with natasha oh guys i think i have my new favorite recipe oh my gosh and thank you so much for lunch thank you and give a special thanks to my guests, Trini Cooking with Natasha, for chefing up this curried iguana and eggs for us. Guys, go ahead, check out her YouTube channel. The link is in the description down below. And also, don't forget to give this video a like.